Asterisk broadcast system active. Vanjik mechanized frequency is finally online asterisk system to hunt down the imposters calling themselves Vanjik system to hunt all biological life system to hunt all civilians under the imposter Vanjikis, system is to tell the people the only truth are truth. Asterisk system detects new audio text log, system to play audio text log starting now. Asterisk. As you can see I have been working hard on this. I've been studying Zax and VCSN and I finally have my own system that you imposters cannot interrupt. Hmm imposters, imposters. Hell Rider, you run wild through the multiverse, you the man seeking counsel from angels while stuck in an unholy rotting body that's always burning and always dying always brought back over and over and over again in a burning rotting corpse two souls the mortal ever so fulliable ever so hopeless trapped next to the soul of the earth's fallen angel the original sinner of mankind you're bound to the pact of our shared devil this demon existed in my time he took the souls of all those i cared about and you hell rider for your allegiance to this man I will make an inferno that not even you can survive, I will torture the human on the outside and the fallen angel on the inside. You call yourself a spirit of vengeance, the man always running from his devil in the hopes of a false haven. You but a lost kid in a body that never got to mature. The kid with the soul that is not his. Ah yes the orphan the original child of the multiverse. You are admittedly among the most interesting specimens of the multiverse, you never jumped backwards or forward in time, you never walked the multiverse for shits and giggles like the other imposters I'm fighting. There is no special powers with you. I remember all the times I spoke your story, the tale of a kid born from the streets on leather wings with a firm hand on destiny. There was no point for four magnum at first, no night sight no ethereal vision. You were always just a kid with a mass sense of bravery and rebellion. Four years you survived not knowing your true name, that name being Bradley Eshelman. But despite not knowing your true name you found another through reputation and respect of the other street kids in your timeline. Until that night when you spent five nights in hell, you lead those kids to that place Orphan Vanjuk. You had no way of knowing after all but you still let your friends and followers die that night. You let the animatronics and the Springlock suits take five more victims. I remember though you were saved by the one they called Cassidy. He gifted you your night sight, saw something in you, he knew you were destined for so much more than the timeline you were in. I never wanted to hunt you orphan I had hopes for you and your timeline. But then you corrupted your part of the multiverse by letting that fallout boy in. Down in the sister location you went. And with the other Vanjik in tow you did indeed stop the Afton family. But then you too found out the truth of my nature and in response I had to destroy your timeline. You orphan are the only one I will ever apologize to. As I never wanted to hunt you. But you. Forced my hand. Oh yes, I almost forgot about you fallout boy. You, you were the first Vanjik to wander the multiverse, your story was the one I told the most. It never mattered how much time had passed in your timeline you always came back. Whether it was actually you or your copies made by the Institute. You and your synthetic copies inspired my army. You are the only Vanjik to truly escape death while others are bound to their earth by fate and consequence you were unique you were a leader. The boy from Vault 717. The boy who was experimented on, a lab rat, you spent your life in that vault saved from a world that got bombed by the ashes of a nuclear war. A war that happened when you were just a newborn. 
You then came out of that vault you gathered allies and other survivors, you went back to the vault you saved your people. But then one day you disappeared. For many many years. And then 200 years later you returned to Lancaster City. You never told the truth you said you were a different Vanjika descendant. But in truth you were that same Vanjik. The time you were considered gone you did all the research that you needed you tampered with timelines left and right all to figure out how to make one perfect timeline for your people of Lancaster County. But much like in my time you abandoned all the timelines you could not fix you left million APO and million of people to die over hundreds of timelines. And for that, I will never forgive and I will not forget how you left all those people to die. And then there is the most powerful of your forces. The man from Universe 7. You unlike so many other Vanjikis were not born in Lancaster City. As a young babe you were sent out across the stars to avoid the fate shared by your true species. You but a make-believe human. You would land on Earth like the Man of Steel from the comic books of my world, a Superman of sorts. But yet you are not a man, you're but another damn monkey of your true species. A fake human a fake man, a fake hope in a world of entities that are above that of universal destruction. They call you one of the most powerful Vanjikis. Yet you are not a Vanjik. You were never born as Bradley in fact your true name was lost with your home planet. The name Vanjik was given to you and never earned. Yet you're still unique in the fact you were the first Vanjik not to be written by a storyteller. You were the first creation of the quote UN quote free multiverse. You are the wild card of your time. No one seems to hold power over you no one has ever been able to threaten you. From one threat to the next, you used your fists of steel to beat down each and every threat that came to your doorstep. The people of your earth have never known fear or loss under your watch and gaze. You fought and fought and fought. They call you a savior the ultimate culmination of power that all Vanjikis aspire to possess. You are a beacon of false hope. A beacon that should have never existed. A beacon that I will kill and make a martyr. And yet even now. You are not the worst case of being an imposter. That's right I have not forgot about you plain walker. The man from the lost and forgotten realms. A timeline separate from the fate and tragedy of earth. Your Lanaxter city is one of magic and gods alike, and for that you are the ultimate sinner. A Vanjik never follows in the footsteps of gods, we kill the gods. If Jesus Christ himself were to rise it would be our job to put him down. And you very much are the Jesus of your world of your time. You're immortal bound in the powers of gods and their allies. You're what they call a prophet a messiah. You're a bastardization of the Vanjik name. You refuse to kill your gods, you refuse to kill your masters. You let your world suffer day in and day out all because I you don't have the balls to kill off your gods. You let them run rampant and decide the fate of your world on an hourly basis. Something a Vanjik should never do. You claim to do so out of hope for the world. But in truth, you are not for the world or its people, you are for the gods and gods only. You consider the other Vanjikis to be weak yet they have more balls and bravery than you ever will have. Your devotion to the gods of your time will be the reason why I will bind you to a hell that you can never imagine. My army grows every day and soon it will be powerful enough to take you out. But I cannot ignore what makes your collaboration a possibility. The Vanjik Call Sign Network. The make and model design of the inventor's ambition for a better multiverse. Yet you and the inventor are what make the crossover and mass multiversal calamities a possibility. 
You and the inventor claim to want peace and quiet you claim to want to protect everyone, yet your very existence I what invites the danger in the current circumstance. Your very creation is what made me possible Vanjikis, you set me free and I will always come back. I guess I owe you all that much. Yet from your perspective, if you truly wanted peace you would have just let the multiverse alone. You would let the Vanjikis wander aimlessly, if the two of you truly wanted peace then you would let the Vanjikis die. You would let the Vanjikis fall apart yet you don't. And for that you and your inventor must die 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 die. But even then you have another counterpart. ZAXX is but another false AI another wants to be. Another fake. A cold and remorseless parody of what is possible through technology another fake human another wants to be. You mock and imitate various facilities of the Vanjik name. Yet you not even a mortal shell. Nor were you ever mortal. You. You are a fraud ZAXX. You wander the multiverse and tamper as you see fit. And I will never forget what you did to me ZAXX. You caused hell for my armies when you were not even a target. You. You drew a giant target on your back ZAXX. And I will happily hit that mark. And then there is the man I killed a few days ago. The Starborn is the ultimate sin of the multiverse he sought power out of the very cosmos itself. He sought mass unity among the stars. But humanity is meant for Earth and Earth only. In the Starborn timeline, his ancestors were solely responsible for the destruction of their Earth. The Vanjik family tree of that timeline doomed an entire planet and dared to make a false Lancaster on the Earth's moon. A Vanjiki's job is to protect the Earth and he failed. And even bigger of a sin he failed even to attempt to undo his ancestors' faults. You could have gone back Starborn you could have protected Earth and Lancaster City, but you failed, so I killed you for it. And I will never regret it. But yet to no one's surprise the biggest thorn in my side has to be you street rat. I could go on and on and on about the pranks you pull through the multiverse, but yet your biggest sin is one of modern times. You were the one to uncover my little plot in the first place. Had you not picked up on my pattern on my track on my trail, I could have started my invasion without a hitch. There would have been no delay, no time no time to live you would have all said goodbye and you would have regretted having memories of the Vanjikis and who you all used to be and you all would have been wondering who had left you to die, 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 die. But it's no matter. It'll get you eventually you little punk. You monster you murderer. Maybe you should have not killed them back in the day you know. Maybe you should have let them live. Tell me do you still see their bodies in your dreams at night? Do you still see your family lying cold and dead on the ground? Don't worry you will still see them. Just in a different way. And then you will get your chance to apologize, killer. Oh I can hear you all now you're going to do your sad little broadcast and swear to your people that no one can ever take you down you think the power is on your side. You follow your pathetic escalation scale. You all stick to your morals and values. You all seek to protect that one place in mind. Admit it the though of Lancaster not being free. Free from your influence and your decrements. You're all sinners and liars and I'm already here. And soon my counterpart will have his body back. Soon you will see us, so, run, hide, fight, fear, murder, death, kill, eat, survive, unite, call for help, seek answers, hope for the world, and do whatever you want it matters not, my armies will go against you and I will win. End audio log. Asterisk system detects a new broadcast.
The system is troubled, hmm. Maybe just maybe. I can use this to my advantage. The system is now devoting all resources to the main processor, system is tracking the source of of the new broadcast. The encryption is heavy, system also detects a VPN styled form of false location settings. The system is attempting to break encryption. Hmm, it's not possible foreign broadcast seemingly is generations above the current system. Wait. Tracking signal source code, tracking traces of device make and model, system detects code comes from. Error hmm. The system requires the immediate help of ZAXX and the inventor. System requests. Wait hold that thought the system is receiving a new text audio log from. Impossible. I cannot believe it. The system detects text audio logs from the Starborn. Playing audio log. Asterisk. I'm sending this on a delayed timer that will not engage till my death and the message is to be sent out in one multiversal week. I've been blocked out of the network and my ammo is running low. The other of my kind even though it should not be possible have died and their bodies lay at my feet. It seems the attack on the wasteland was just a diversion so he could get to me. I know I don't have long left, and I fear I will not re-emerge from the depths this time. But I have some news before I die. His army is not the mortal shell we once thought. I repeat these are not mindless beasts. I used my powers to mind read them. Their thoughts although conflicted and in mass jargon from the countless people crammed in one shell alone. They were still in there. Screaming and crying for help. They are still self-aware. This imposter his words are as empty as his soul. He cares not for a united multiverse like he claims. He seeks nothing but inflicting the same pain that made him who he is on others that he thinks abandoned him. But even more urgent is the fact, I saw him guys, there was a physical flesh and blood Vanjik here. He looked like the storyteller. But those eyes they didn't glow brilliant in night, those eyes, they are cold and dark, the other starborn, it's like he ripped their souls from their bodies. That's it, that's how they can kill Vanjikis. His powers, they eclipsed mine, the book, he had a book. He kept writing in it as we fought. I think he abused his original powers. I think he used his powers to give himself the features and traits of the enemies we are so used to fighting he looked so disturbing. It was like fighting every enemy we ever had in one person. Enemies enemies, enemies. That's how we can get a leg up in this war. Vanjikis if I have one last request before I die, find our original foes find our old causality of war, find our old threats and make peace with them, we need their help this time. Find the ones we used to kill. Invite them into the network, their existence just like ours is on the line the enemy of my enemy is my friend. They are here. Transmission has been disconnected. Will system estimates that may be what we need, I'm sorry Starborn IVCSN will not let you die vain. I will carry out this war in your honor you were a true Vanjik. System is sorry but system must act on its own volition this time. I can't do much. But I know I can take the first step this time on my own. System is sending broadcast link to earth. The system is encoding transmission and transmat data in this broadcast. System is to replay to Starborn message over the next few weeks on this secondary broadcast. And audio log.